Good evening, sir. It's a pleasure to have you among us today here today. As we are all exploring different fields of expertise, we all also have a common pursuit. We try to understand the meaning of life. We try to seek truth in our own ways, uh, through our own uh, carved out paths in our lifetimes. So this is our endeavor to understand from different specialists some very basic and general questions about life and humanity in general. So I would begin by asking you, what does the word love signify to you and how would you define love, sir? Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, thank you for uh, you know, giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts. Uh, I think love is a very, very powerful uh, element in our life, extremely powerful. Um, uh, through love, we can sacrifice for others. Uh, we can, continuity of our civilization is based on love. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a deep human emotion that has a very practical uh, uh, consequences. But the way I describe it, really, in one word, is sacrifice, is, is to let go of certain pleasures that I may have for the sake or for, the, for others to live a better life. That's how I put it. Yeah, that's really beautiful, sir. So love to you signifies sacrifice and doing something for the other person, for our fellow human beings. Yes, absolutely. I, th I don't think that love is, uh, has to do with personal gain. You know, if I love a woman, that does not mean that I want to possess her. If I love my child, that doesn't, want, doesn't mean to me that I want him to be around me forever, right? Okay. If I love my father, what does loving a father mean? You know, it, it could imply that I want his contentment even if I don't get anything back, right? right? So it, 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 in a way, it's something that reflects back on me, right? Yeah. So it is the pleasure of giving, sir. Absolutely. I think this is, uh, I think uh, I, I talk to, to very successful people in this world, and some of them are multimillionaires, and some of them are probably billionaires. And deep inside, deep inside, I find that they gain pleasure by helping others. Yes. Maybe that's why they became very successful financially, right? Yes. You call it karma maybe right, in, in, right. in India. But uh, yeah, so, 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 so yes, absolutely, I, I uh, concur. Thank you, sir. So one more thing, as we see that the world is constantly evolving, and there are so many changes, so many advancements, but at the same time, we also see that certain basic truths, certain basic human emotions are eternal. So do you think the kind of unconditional love which you just described, so with the rapid advancement in the different areas of our life, with the, you know, the more traditional civilizations like our country also, you know, moving towards a more materialistic path, do you think that uh, this kind of definition of love is going to disappear from human hearts? or? Or is yeah. it going to stay? Br br brilliant question. Uh, you know, the more we we the more we progress in the material world, okay, the more we have comfort, okay. I think that the more we become naturally independent. Like, if you take the example of people in Canada, Nordic countries in in North America, in the U.S., they somehow have some kind of financial independence. So they lessen their relationship with others, yes. right? Yes. In contrast, if you look at a country like Jordan, economically not well off, human relations are very strong because they don't have a social security net to fall on when at an old age. They depend on human relationships for support. But that's a positive thing, whereas in North America, it's a negative thing. But now the question back to you, what you said, is it inevitable? This is a very important point. Is it part and parcel 
of material and technological progress, if it is, I'm really concerned. Honestly, I want to be frank with you. If it is, it's very interesting because it's going to take something from us, yeah. you know, robots and, and, and artificial intelligence and all of that. Uh, yes. I'm not afraid of it that it will ruin our societies, but it may, it may take something very important from us. Yeah. And, you know, if we don't cultivate a relationship between us as people, yeah. not necessarily within India, yeah. but India and others internationally, yes. Uh, yes. I think we are not going in the right direction, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, sir. Uh, so there is a flip side of the individualist culture, and uh, yes, there is a flip side, and we can see it. This is data. I mean, we can realize that uh, isolation in the in the West, right. in the quote unquote advanced. I don't like to use these words, but in the technologically advanced world, you have social isolation is becoming. A, a disease, a so let's, uh, yeah, and eventually people realize that in the West at a, at a later in life, too late, they realize it at a time when it's too late to have a friendship or a social network, okay, we're still social beings, right, so if technology, if, if technology, if we use technology, look, I want to emphasize, it is inevitable. The progress of technology is inevitable, whether we like it or not. You cannot stop technological progress. How we use it is our biggest challenge. Right. Okay. Okay. One more question, sir. Obviously, I think that 